In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make an underline effect on a navbar link on Hover with CSS. All right, so let's say you have some kind of navbar and I have a separate video on how to create this navbar. You can check the playlist or links in the description. But let's say we have this navbar right now. And currently when I hover this lit nav link, we get like a white color, right? So it has a bit of lower opacity. When we hover the nav link, it becomes normal white with 100% opacity. But now we also want to get um, some kind of like an underline, right? Now there are possible solutions out there. So people have come up with border on the bottom or text decoration underline, but those solutions are not so great because for example, text decoration, you cannot animate that. And with border on the bottom, you're actually adding content. So it may, it may actually make the, the height of the header more, which is not what we want most of the time. So the cleanest solution is actually with a so-called pseudo element. So here in your HTML, this is how it's structured for me. So you have the anchor tag, the actual link. I'm gonna create a so-called pseudo element, All right? So maybe you've seen that before. We have before and also after. And the idea here is that basically we can sort of insert content from CSS. So I could say content and then just some gibberish. And then if I refresh here, you can see that these nav links now have that gibberish after them, right? So you can sort of create or like insert content or HTML or like, a, like an element from the CSS, right? I don't want to do this. We're not going to insert anything, but you still need this. Instead, what we're going to do is just style this as like a bar. I'm actually going to uh, put this on my live server, right? So this is an extension in Visual Studio Code live server and I can right click here and I will open that up on a live server so I don't have to keep refreshing. So let's see if that's working. Okay, so that's working. I'm gonna, it opens it up in a new window. I'm gonna copy the URL and paste it here. So what we wanna do is style that pseudo element as simply a bar. And it's a bit slow for me because I'm recording a video. So what we wanna do is we wanna style that uh, pseudo element as that blue bar. So it's just going to have a height of, let's say two pixels, going to have the width of 100% so the complete width of the nav link. It should get that blue color. So we can say background color or just background. And I'm using RGB here, 10, 183, 255. And we won't see anything because these pseudo elements are inline level elements by default. You cannot set a height on them or they're not going to have any height. So we're going to say display block here. When you do that, you will already see these underlines, right? Now they're sitting a bit too high. We Maybe we want them a bit lower. So we can use position absolute. This will also take it out of the normal flow as it's called, meaning it will not take up any space, right? So that's actually what we want. So it, will, it won't push up the text here, for example. Um, and now when you use position absolute, it will actually automatically create it and will actually make this a block level element by default. So you don't have to say display block anymore. So let's see what we get then. So now it becomes a bit messy because it doesn't have the right reference point. So when you use position absolute, usually um, you want to set, uh, well, it actually does have the right reference point because I'm using position relative here, right? So make sure you have position relative on the nav link, right? Because then what we can do is we can use, for example, we can say it should sit zero pixels from the left, but the left of what exactly? Well, that's going to be the reference point, right? So it's going to be zero pixels from the left of this nav link, right? So now it's sitting in the, in the, in the correct position. And it should perhaps sit, you know, something like zero pixels from the bottom, but that's not enough, right? So maybe it should sit some negative number. So it's going to sit even lower, right? So this is the right position. What we want is that the, the uh, underline is not visible, only on hover, right? So initially the opacity should be zero, let's say. And only when we hover the nav link, so what we can say is nav link in the hover state, then select the after pseudo element, right? So it's a little bit complex, but then we can set the opacity to one, right? So when we hover the nav link, then it will become visible, right? That's what we have now, already looks pretty cool, but it's instant, it's not smooth. So to make it smooth, we can make this a transition, right? So on the normal rule set, right? Just in the after normal, not in the hover state, just in a normal state, we can say transition, well, let's say 0.2 seconds, right? So now it's, it's a nice uh, transition. Now, one last thing is when you now sort of hover over it, because initially it has opacity zero now, but you can still sort of hover it and you get a bit of a strange effect here where um, when, when you leave it, it's, it's removed again. So we don't want anything like this. So we should not be able to hover the bar itself. So, or at least we, we can hover it, but nothing should happen. So what you can say is pointer events, none, 
which will sort of ignore our mouse when we go over it, right? So now only when we actually hover this text will, will we see the, the blue bar below it, right? And you can create some variation of this. Maybe you want it to be right at the bottom of the, of the nav bar. So then maybe it should sit even lower, something like negative 20. And maybe it should be a bit thicker, so you can just increase the height to, let's say, 4 pixels. Right? When you do that, you get a very clean um, uh, solution, I think. I really like this. And maybe you also want this in, in the focus state. Right? So not only when you hover it, but also when you focus it. So let's see. Currently, let's actually start with the white color. We're just adding that when we hover it. But you can simply say also when the nav link is in the focus state. So after you clicked it, it will be in the focus state. But then it also has that white uh, color. And we also want this for the after pseudo element. So we can also say nav link in the focus state, select the after pseudo element, and then also set the opacity to one. Right. So now when you click, it also stays there in the focus state. Right, it's a little bit complicated here with the CSS, but it's really important that you have mastered CSS if you want to work as a web developer. Maybe you're already working as a web developer. I have a course on CSS. It will take a couple of hours, but it will benefit you for the rest of your career. So definitely check it out. The link is in the description if you want to take your CSS to that professional or advanced level. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.